Well, I found here a very interesting spot on the Himveil Island. Name is Digger Helen Artillery Base, and it's right, right here. This was added. This is something new and was added in uh, the last DLC, the anniversary update. And it, at the first sight, it looks to be a naval base, uh, not naval base, a uh, military base with some artillery cannons. Uh, let me see if I can get inside. Okay, I have a truck here. Okay, and I will use the PM 50 BMG. And let's go inside to see if I can get something to loot. Or, oh yes, I can enter. Whoa! Some dead bodies. Alright. Some dead bodies, and I don't know which way to take. Oh my god, I hope it's not very big. Well, it seems to be like a bunker. And inside, here we are in the generator room. Oh my god, you go under again. Some ladders. I don't know where the fuck I am. Here is something that it's collapsed. This one is blocked. And... What we have here... Oh, this is the loading area for the artillery shells. And here we get some crates with ammunition. Okay, let's head back. Alright. Uh, which was the way? Here on the stairs. Uh, and we can find something, a crate, ammo box, something, no, 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 upstairs, and on the left, here is another door, um, and it looks here like a command center, okay, I have here ammo box, I take only this. Uh, 50 BMG uh, ammunition. I need that. On the left, on the right. Oh, I can. I think I cannot access that door. And here it's a dead end because. Everything gets collapsed. All right, and let's go back um, and try another way. So, on this side here, this is blocked. This is not accessible. The door. Some crates here, and here this one can be uh, opened. Okay, what's here? Here also, it's a block. It's a fence. So let's go inside on this door. And I have another three options. This one is sealed, it's not opening. This one. Uh, here is a dead body. Oh, it's a military, so. Who the hell entered here and killed all this personnel and then locked up everything? Or they committed suicide in group. But because we uh, in each bunker that I have entered, I see dead bodies, but no enemy left. No traces of enemies, like dogs or robots or something. 
no and this one is locked also cannot be accessed so this is the artillery base and that's all i think oh here is the only proof that uh, some robots enter inside okay uh, let's go outside to see the area if there's something to give me no nope. so here are the cannons and whoa let's take this collectible picked up so there is something here that's worth trying so this place deserves to be presented because it's big there is something up that up there let's see what it is it's a truck and i think because it's a military yes inside there are some crates or not no i think this is the only one the truck half loaded that has no crates in it inside and so this is the digger helen artillery base um i think this is the biggest place or biggest change made on this uh dlc the anniversary edition on the himfell island and yes you have a lot to to take to scavenge here okay here is something interesting i am at this church in Österhellen and here uh just a moment something changed this place is not new but uh, in the last patch in the march update or anniversary edition the developers have added some barricade outside the church There are a lot of dogs here every time and a hunter Let me lure them a little bit Holy shit. Oh, so hard on the guerrilla mode. So even inside the church, the benches are in different positions. Okay, and here also, I, I, hit, I think this was a church transforming a camp for the, uh, the resistance. right so that's and the building the church itself it's in reconstruction i think maybe i should try to get on the top no it's there a possibility to get upstairs oh yes it is maybe i can find something interesting there maybe the developers have put Oh yes, there it's a weapon crate. Okay. Some eight kits. And this ladder it's not accessible. Also here. So I cannot go up anymore. Let's see on this side. No, so <clears throat> I will come down 
on this side. Well, I think this place deserves to be placed in uh, the chapter changed places, not new places. It's something that it's help. I think it's help in uh, Swedish. Okay, so definitely this was a uh, uh, resistance uh, base. I am here in a place that should be presented as new because it was not in the Alpine Unrest or Rivals DLC and it was added in this anniversary edition. The name is very tricky. It's called Bergaiten Hunting Club and it's south in the Himfel Island right here and even has a path or a way so uh, <clears throat> anything here that can be loaded are these two cars and they have I think some yes yeah, some ammo crates in the trunk but I don't try to go inside the house as this one is locked No, all the houses are... Oh, yes. You can enter in the houses. Let's see. So, you can enter... Oh, there are tickers inside. Fuck, that's a trap. So, there are ticker traps here. Alright, and... Here, nothing interesting. Let's try next. Um, <laughs> a hunting rifle, of course, and nothing here. Let's see inside. No. Next house. A luggage. And. Some small stuff, very useful, uh, um, uh, especially the adrenaline. Two computers. Oh my god, this was a gaming club or something. Look, also some donuts and some uh, fresh drinks. So, this is... June 5th, 1978. Another test subject died yesterday. The latest immunosuppressant was more efficient and uh, finally allowed a test of introduced neuro signals. We impelled the test subject to go to the right marker eight out of eight times, mm. but then it had a neurological seizure and died. The cytokine release that occurs seems to only be delayable, not preventable, which of course rules out any form of human application. Okay, uh, so this was the voice of the scientist. And here it's another hunting rifle. Some wearings. And that's it. All. Oh, there is a place here. Oh, it's a target range. Shooting range, sorry. No. One small place added on the map that it's it's not the, uh, it's not appearing on the map. It's right here where I'm I is this roadblock where we can find these burned cars and some dead bodies and the two trucks that have some uh, crates on their back and that's all. This is very I don't know how to say it should be uh, looted by the players. This one cannot be accessed. 
and it's right here in the south of the safe house Bjorn Tunet Hotel. If you are interested, you must check it out. Another place that it's not new, but it was changed and it was changed by uh, this barricade that has been added by the developers is the Jusset Commune homestead here, right over this safe house. And they had also some dead bodies. And these houses or cabins are from the base version of the game. I don't really think they added a fort for the resistance, I think. So I think it should be checked as changed, not new. Here is a small place uh, that has a fence and it cannot be accessed and it's new because it wasn't here uh, in uh, the base version of the game and uh, also in other DLC. And as you can see here it's a default entrance but you cannot access and it's right here near this uh, readiness storage. But I have checked out and there is a trick here. So you can sneak behind from through this uh, wall entrance and voila, you are inside. Oh, oh. this is the alien version, alien movie version of the Swedish apocalypse. <laughs> okay, and here inside you will find a small storage where you can loot some weapons. I looted everything here and there was some um, dilapidated weapons, but it, uh, I, I think it, it must be checked out by the players because uh, it's another scavenging spot. So the place is right, right here. It has no name. So it's on Himmel Island, Iceland, and it has no name. And it was added in the latest patch, the anniversary edition. Even if you are inside, so you cannot go outside through the mine gate. You must sneak through this fence bridge. Okay. I think the most notable changes that developers made in the latest DLC, the anniversary version, are here in this place. The Tenbo that scans in Himfal, it's Iceland. As you can see, they, uh, they sealed some buildings here, uh, like uh, in the resistance style, they added some barricades. And if you notice, if you pay some attention, you see here a small bridge, so you can go upstairs. That was a mine. Okay, and there is a body. From this side, you go up. And then you jump here. Oh shit, I jumped. I must go another time. But let's clean up the mess from the tank. And now it's very tricky here. Okay, and here we are. Here is a dead body, a pistol, 
it was here also 50 BMG. Oh my god. And they put these fans and here on the parking lot there was here a huge parking lot and they added some houses so you can go inside the houses and loot and try to scavenge because in some of them they have uh, you will find some ammo crates and some adrenaline and so on and that's good oh uh, this tank is very very nasty here so this also is sealed so instead of the parking lot, they changed everything in a house lot. Well, that's the bastard that hunts me down. Oh. Shit. Second time he died. Okay. Also, another change notable, it's, you know that button for the siren on the lighthouse, now it's deactivated. I don't know, uh, I think it's directly uh, connected to the mission if you, if you, if you finish the game already, the buttons deactivate. I know there was a bug when you press that button then the siren will start to horn and it will not stop until you exit the game so the developers have changed that and now they disable, disabled entirely the button for the s starting siren and that's a good thing 